So hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the odometer gear in your late 944 or 944 turbo. So before starting any project like this, you're going to want to disconnect the battery. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the steering wheel. If you have an aftermarket wheel like this one, then you're going to need a three millimeter hex key to remove all these bolts here. If you have an airbag steering wheel, then you'll want to leave the battery disconnected for at least 30 minutes before removing it. You're going to find that there is two T30 Torx screws located behind the steering wheel on each side. Once those are removed, you can then pull the airbag out and disconnect the wiring. And if you have a regular steering wheel, you're just gonna pull gently on the horn pad until it releases. Behind it, you're gonna find a single wire for the horn. And then down in the steering wheel, you're gonna finally see your 24 millimeter nut that you'll need to remove. With the steering wheel removed, you can now access the 24 millimeter nut in behind there. With the steering wheel out of the way, we'll next start removing the screws in the bezel here. You have one located up under here, one on the opposite side over here, three along the top, two located here and here and then one right over here I'm gonna start by removing the two screws here this one's missing on this side and this one's gone as well so I'll move on and start removing these three along the top This one's also missing. Next, I'll remove these two here. And then finally, this one located here. Once you have all your screws removed, you should be able to just lift up on this and pull it out. With the bezel out of the way, you can now see the two screws located on each side of the cluster. One is missing, but you get the idea. I'll be removing these three screws and then we'll need to detach it from the wires that are located behind it. Behind the gauge cluster on the right side here, you're gonna find two plugs and you're gonna need to remove them. The way you do this is you just take these tabs here and you turn them out on each side. Once they're pushed out, you can unplug everything. On the left hand side of the cluster, you're gonna have another plug and I'll be able to demonstrate this better on this side where you can see it. So I'm just gonna take this tab and pull it out and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Be gentle, they will break. Once these are pulled apart, then it just comes undone. And you're able to remove the cluster. With the cluster removed, we'll now remove these nine screws running around the outside edge here.
Once all the screws are removed, you can go ahead and separate the two pieces. Next, we'll be removing the speedometer. And in order to do that, you'll just turn it over and remove these four flathead screws here. Once you have the screws removed, you just wanna carefully pull up on the speedometer. It will be free. However, there is a circuit board that is connected to some pins underneath there. So don't be surprised if the circuit board tries to stay behind. You can just carefully remove it here and also be sure not to lose these rubber pieces here. So once you have the speedometer out, you're gonna find the odometer gear over here. And here's our first look at the odometer gear I'm gonna be replacing. So as you can see, this gear is in very poor condition. There's a rumor that states that you never want to reset these while the car is in motion. However, that isn't true whatsoever. When these gears get old, they become very fragile and they're going to break no matter what you do. So while I don't recommend doing this since pieces can end up getting stuck in the mechanism here, I will just demonstrate just how fragile this gear is. just barely touching it. It's almost the same consistency as wet sand when you take it and squeeze it together. It's extremely soft. So this is gonna happen whether or not you reset your odometer moving, sitting still, or just through regular driving. But I wanted to go ahead and demonstrate that because this is definitely not going to survive the next step when I go to pull it off. And by that point, you wouldn't get to see just how soft this is. So anyway, next I need to go ahead and start pulling everything apart so I can get the new gear in there. So for this next part, I need to get the face of the speedometer off in order to access some screws that are in behind here. First of all, you're going to be removing the speedometer needle. And before you do so, you want to sort of mark where it is located. And you can just take a piece of tape and looking straight on at it, you want to put your tape down. So that way it'll be pointing back in the exact position when you go to put it on again. And to remove the needle, you're going to want a tool like this. Notice that I have some tape on here so that way I do not scratch the face up. And next I'll be removing these screws. Here you can see the screws that I'm after. Once they're removed, I'll be able to pull this apart and access this gear. In order to replace the gear, you need to remove these two first. As you can see, this one is blocking this one in. So what you need to do is remove it by taking this pin out here. All you need is a pair of needle nose pliers. Just go in the back side here and just sort of push on it until you've got enough to grab onto. And it should slide 
right out. Put that away for now. Take this gear out. Now I need to remove this E-clip here and I should be able to slide this one off. So again, I'm gonna take my small screwdriver and just take your time with this. and clean up all that stuff that fell in there and we'll remove this e-clip here and we'll be ready to put the new gear on so once you have the old gear off what you want to do is just gently clean this post and make sure that it stays smooth don't mar it up since the gear actually spins on it this doesn't spin whatsoever and so the old gear as it had aged had actually fused itself to this and then that sheared the gears and this would have happened under normal driving circumstances. So there's no need to worry about resetting it only when the car still. Once these fuse to this, they're just going to shear no matter what you do. You want to make sure that you remove all this debris here because it doesn't take very much to clog up those tiny gears. So make sure you clean this very, very well. Once you have everything cleaned off, you're ready to install your new gear and it's gonna go on just like this right there. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure that you clean this gear. You can see there's some debris on there and if any of this gets in between the gears, it's gonna make it difficult to spin. So you'll wanna take these and spin them together. And if you feel any notchiness, like I do right there where there's some debris in it, you wanna make sure you clean all of that out. So I need to take this back off and clean it really well. And then I'll be ready to install these gears. Once everything's cleaned off, you're going to install this gear just like that and you're going to just rotate it to make sure everything spins freely. Then you'll be ready to put your two E-clips back on. Once you have the gears installed, the next thing you can do is start putting everything back together again. So once you have your speedometer back in, you can go ahead and reconnect the cluster and install it. 
I also made sure to replace that missing screw over here. So now I'm getting ready to install the surround and I've also replaced this clip down here so I can install all the missing screws as well. And once you have your steering wheel back on, you're ready to take it on the test drive. As you can see, the odometer is now working perfectly. All right, guys, so that's how you install an odometer gear in a late 944 or 944 turbo. If you'd like to stay up to date with some of the projects we're working on around the shop, be sure to join us on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description below. I also want to thank everyone who supports this channel on Patreon since these videos would not be possible without you. But anyway, guys, that's just about going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.